Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I have a Camel Security Round Body Padlock. Um, I'm just going to say it, this is not a good padlock or lock in any way at all. So you might think, why have I got one? Well, it's all to do with the logo here, the Camel logo. I just didn't have one of these locks. They don't come up very often, probably because they're not very desirable locks. Um, and I just like the Animal Logo locks. There's a few really good ones out there, the Bassy uh, Elephant and the um, Avocet. Um, set bird there's a few out there egrets and all those kind of things and, and I just like collecting them might do a separate video on those at some point the lock mechanism is sprung and um it's just a made in China here and it's very stiff you can probably see that here uh, with a spring on there so yeah super stiff spring I doubt it's very good inside and we have to use a super thick turner. This goes to 1.4 millimeters, and even then it's got a bit of slop in there. Crazy, isn't it? Anything else will just turn around in the bottom of that keyway. I'm just using this uh, gem, because it's a, a sort of medium hook. Um, got a pin there, which is three. Um, one didn't need to be picked, this is two, and we're already ugh, open. So that's how secure that lock is. We didn't even need to rake it to uh, get the open on that. So yeah, let's uh, do a quick gutting on this and see what is inside. Bearing in mind that what's probably going to happen is, um, if I remember rightly, these might have a skeletonized core, so I need shims. You'll see what I mean if it is there and if it isn't then. We'll be very surprised together. Uh, there we go. Let's try and get this bit off if I can. Oh no, it's not gonna be one of those, is it? Right, uh, let's see if we can get this off. There we go. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Sometimes these can be very tight fits. Um, to be fair, especially in locks like this, they're not really designed to ever be changed, I, I imagine. But this is a bit of a fiddle. Come on. We've got so far, we have to be able to get the rest of the way. Got it. Huh. Okay, well, that did come out. There's that little plug or core or whatever you want to call it. Let's turn this back because we've got the key for whatever that's worth. And I'll just get my gut wrench, which is, of course, not out. We'll just pop that circlip off the back. So, a bit, a bit rusty there as well, isn't it? So, yeah, just pop that off quite loose that circlip as well. Not, by the way, that we're expecting quality at this point, are we? Um, I'm trying to find a little uh, follower. That should work. Yeah, that would work, won't it? Pop the key in, get a shim in, just in case we do have a skeletonized core where they basically, well, let's see, maybe, maybe, maybe this one won't, maybe this will be good. Let's have a look. Oh, no, it's not. So normally it's with the skeletonized cores, um, they cut away the brass and recover it, which saves um, a small amount of cost, but across the multiple, multiple locks, three, four, five, and I, no, that's it, five and just a, a detent. The bitting was pretty awful on this. I mean, I imagine what's happening is that we've got, uh, we only need to pick a couple of pins. That the, it's a classic, um, that the, well, let's have a look actually. Um, so these are all standard pins, let's have a look. So some of these might actually be at shear already, yeah. So they're close enough to shear already, um, especially that last pin, that we just don't need to pick <laughs> the pin. Uh, that that can happen sometimes that you just end up having a pin in a lock with such bad tolerances that you just don't need to pick it at all which is you know I, I guess to be expected really in some of these things then we've got some probably just standard pins all the way through here very weak little springs exactly what you'd expect in this kind of lock really just just stuff um, yep Nothing surprising there at all. Uh, so we've got 
pins that we don't need to pick. Sometimes you get um, driver pins, sorry, get key pins which are so short that the driver pin can uh, sit. I don't think that's the case in this, so I'll just pop that in. But I, th I think it, we just had a couple of pins which we didn't need to pick because of the poor tolerances. But sometimes you can get key pins which are sh so short, whoop, come here, that the driver pin sits at sheer on top. But I don't think that's the case in this, to be fair to it. Come here. No. Sometimes key pins can be so short that the tops of the driver pins are already at sheer, but that isn't the case here. So that is something to go for it, but it does suffer from the classic um, poor tolerances and pins already sat at near enough shear that you just don't need to pick them. So, yep, I'll just quickly show you those. They're all standard key pins and all standard driver pins. Nothing to shout about. Exactly what you'd expect from this. Bonus points for it not having a skeletalized core, but um, that's about it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that. If you did, leave a like. Any comments about these? If you've got um, a camel security lock yourselves, let me know. I do read all the comments, reply to as many as I can. If you haven't subscribed, now's a great time to do so. And, of course, I'll see you all next time.